right, new week, new loads. So I didn't video uh, picking up that compactor. It was a roller um, out of Galveston going up into Mississippi. It was a real short, it didn't take long, legal load, nothing to see. Um, basically, it was super, super hot. A bunch of storms rolling in again, and I just wanted to get it and go. Um, there was really no time to be videoing. So we delivered that yesterday morning, and uh, that was super quick. Just, you know, we pulled in, back in, unhooked, drove it off, boom, boom, put our chains away, and away we went. We drove about three miles down the road to a truck stop, um, and so I got to the truck stop about nine-ish in the morning. We sat there all day, all day. <laughs> Loads are just, I thought this was gonna be a better market. <laughs> Fuck was I wrong. <sighs> so I sat there all day yesterday, dealing with loads, calling brokers, stuff like that. Just like, I think I wore out the refresh button on the uh, load board. It was getting bad. And uh, turns out this market that we're in right here is like a super, it, it's, you'll have this. This one is like a super last minute. Some of them will post ahead of time. Some will post a couple days ahead of time. This one, I called on an excavator going to Pennsylvania and uh, I was like four hours away from it. And it was noon. It was afternoon, it was one o'clock. And uh, they wanted it, they posted it at one o'clock and they needed it picked up by three o'clock. <laughs> that day. And they weren't gonna, they were gonna try to do that before they loaded. I'm like, can we do next morning, you know, tomorrow morning? And they're like, well, we're gonna, we're gonna try to load it today first. Fucking talk about last minute, man. That would have been decent, but I didn't, I wasn't close enough to do that. Um, I would have got there probably about five-ish and their cutoff was three. So that didn't work out. So then later on during the day, um, what time was it? It was about three o'clock is when I finally booked this load. Um, it's not an awesome load by no means, but it got me out of the area uh, because I was at the point where like I was giving it to like 10 o'clock the next morning and I'm like, fucking I'm out of here type of situation. You know what I mean? Um, so whoever was trolling the load boards with me was on top of their game because by the time I was calling, it's getting bad. Getting bad. Like loads are on there for like a minute or two and then they're already booking. <laughs> so I ended up getting this one. Um, she told me it was a cutter. I said, I don't know what a cutter. What do you mean cutter? Sounds like it's a foldable mowing deck. Um, that was a demo unit. It was shipped out to multiple places and then it was shipped out to this airport. And now it's got to come out of this airport and that's going to go up into Missouri um, to an ag dealer who actually, uh, I guess, sold it. So that's what we're doing. I just stopped here at this truck stop because we're not too far away. It looks like we're about 15 miles away. Uh, I wanted to contact... Um, the people that are shipping this uh, because they said it's not in the airport it's outside the airport but they gave me the address of the airport so I need to kind of wheel and deal with them and say hey you need to tell me where the fuck we're going all right finally uh, I found someone I went inside the terminal and uh, turns out it's not even here it's two miles away from here um, they said they wouldn't have a way to load it if it was here, so it's two miles away from here and they started asking me if I know this and this and stuff, so I'm not from around here, obviously. So, uh, the truck in front of us, they're going to escort us down there, um, which is nice of them, because uh, she said, she goes, I see what you're driving. I'm gonna try not to get you in trouble. I see, yeah, don't get me in any tight spots. We're gonna be, we're gonna be in trouble if we do. So, we're gonna head down, follow them down, and uh, 
hopefully we can get this thing loaded up and get the hell going with this show because this is uh, some of the shenanigans that you run into when you're booking these loads of people, you know, it, it starts to turn into a whole shit show, realistically. Looks like there ain't nothing here, so we just gotta zip around this, not go in the ditch. Got about two miles down the road to go, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Holy shit, what a debacle. Got chains everywhere. Great big mower decks. Chain pulling down there. Going across there. Next chain the decks. a lot of chaining it's barely oversized I am so hot and sweaty let's get out of here we gotta go out that gate I gotta I haven't even had a chance to look at my permits yet she's 13 13 7 tall Ugh. What a gorgeous day has turned into. So we are. Seeing that you're a fucking piece of shit. Okay. We are. <laughs> Talk about timing. We're about 45 miles from our delivery in the morning, and as you can see, the loves is right there. Um, loves is full. But right across the street here, there's a Phillips that just did a nice gravel parking lot. They're working on something back here, but um, the Loves is packed. There ain't a spot open. Over here, there's only like four of us over here right now. Well, maybe five since that one just pulled in. <laughs> um, yeah. So I swung in there, got fuel, topped off on fuel, and then we uh, grab some. We grabbed some dinner, and then we drove over here. We're going to hang out until like 7.30 in the morning. Something like that. Uh, receiving hours tomorrow are not until 9 a.m. So, check this dude out. Let's see if you can see him in the mirror or not. This dude's like paragliding. Huh. All right. Yeah, gorgeous day. Gorgeous day. That's riding good back there. Hasn't moved. I haven't had to touch it. Chains are all nice and tight. I am filthy though. Um, probably gotta go take a shower. Um, but honestly, I whooped my ass. It wasn't that hot. The truck only said it was like 80, 83. Um, but just muggier in hell. And we slung so many chains. Just trying to get that thing so it was good. I didn't have to monkey with it because it's super tall. Um, the last thing you want is that thing to start rocking around and stuff on the little tires. So I'm going to hang out. See you guys in the morning. So I've been horrible at videoing lately. Um, we're here. She's all unchained. We're just waiting. Um, they're going to grab it with that. I've got one chain sitting on it because that thing wants to roll back a little bit. Um, so we got one chain on it. We're just going to hang on to it a little bit until they get hooked up with the machine. Then I'll unchain it and they roll it off. That's it. There ain't nothing down here. I've already made the call. I'm going home. 